I'm going to hold because I don't want to get going and hurt my knees. Right. From here, first thing I'm going to show you guys. Have them all stand up and have them. First things first, everyone facing the mirrors, you're going to hold the pads this way. Some people like hold them out to the sides or hold them up high. You're going to hold them head level and right in front of your shoulders. This way it's more realistic, like you're punching at somebody rather than no one's head is this wide. So they're in front of your shoulders. Also when you hold, don't just try to hold them straight. You have to tense up a little bit and meet their punches. So it's actually like you're punching their hands. Okay, so if Mr. Tommy's going to throw a one, two, or jab, cross, I'm going to meet his hands this way. One, two, rather than just holding him here and having him get knocked back. So it goes one, two, okay, and meet their hands, okay? Make sure that their hands stay up by their head, okay? A lot of times if someone punches like this and swims like that, then I'll just go keep your hands up, okay? So hands stay up, make sure they come back to their head. Okay, that's good technique there. For straights, they come straight out from their head. For hooks, you just turn your hips, elbows bent 90 degrees. Okay, uppercuts, make sure they're not dropping their hands. Make sure they bend their knees and then push with their legs. And those are uppercuts. Okay, for kicks, make sure that you step. So if they have to kick with their back leg, you have to step backwards so they can kick. If they kick with the other leg, you have to step back again, okay? So make sure if they're punching straight, that shoulder, meet their punches. You turn the pad sideways for hooks, step back for, uh, for roundhouse kicks or front kicks. Front kicks are the same way. You have to step back to give them room to kick, okay? So what I want you guys to do is just move around a little bit and call out punches and kicks for your child. So one, two, or kick, kick, and then after you've done that for a little bit, try to stay in one spot because we have limited room. And then move off. If you have more than one child, take turns. And then after that, we're going to go over the white belt boxing routine. Go ahead and move around for a little bit. Try to get a custom on how to hold. Good. Make sure they're keeping their hands up. Good. Meet their punches. anyone had any questions also for red belts you guys got to do white to red in order to go to your next belt so red belts pay attention as well for white belts block with your lead hand block with your back hand jab cross front kick drop it in front lead hand back hand jab cross front kick and that's white belt yellow belts one one two duck duck Hook, hook, duck, duck, uppercut, uppercut, roundhouse, roundhouse. Orange belts, one, one, two, low, high, straight, roundhouse, spin back fist, same hand, spin roundhouse. Green belt, jab, jab, cross, hook, Upper, hook, straight. Two knees, right, right. Elbow, elbow, left, right. Roundhouse. Purple belly. Jab, jab, cross, block, hook, straight. Roundhouse, jab, cross, roundhouse. Jab, cross, hook. Lead hand punches first. So always the hand that's in front is the one that's punching first. Blue belt. Chisel, cross, hook, block, block, hook, straight, knee, switch knee, left leg ends in front, hook, overhand, roundhouse. Good. Now, red belt. Okay, red belt should be over here. Starts one, two, three, or jab, cross, hook. So go jab, cross, hook. I'm going to duck and then do it backwards. Hook, cross, jab. 
okay? Guys in the cage, could you quiet down for just a little bit so I can get the red belts? Thank you. That's all right. All right, so red belts. Start out, jab, cross, hook, then duck, and then do it backwards. Hook, cross, jab. Then block. Block, block, jab, cross, then we're going to do what we call a tag. They're going to fade. So shoot your left hand to their left shoulder. They're just going to dodge their head out of the way and turn. Then you're going to go to the right, to their right shoulder. Okay? Then from here, you go open hand hook, closed cross, then a chisel kick. Then from there, you throw a closed cross, open hook, back leg rounds. So one more time for red belts. So all red belts stand like me, and all pad holders stand like Mr. Week says. So you're facing each other like we are. All right, guys, ready? All right, guys, jab, cross, hook. One, two, three. Duck, hook, cross, jab. Block, block. Jab, cross. Tag, tag. Open, straight, chisel kick. Straight, open, roundhouse. Good. It should be right, straight, left, open. So right, straight, left, open, right leg roundhouse. So all together it should look like this. One, two, three, duck, three, two, one. Block, block, one, two, tag, tag. Open, straight, chisel kick. Straight, open, roundhouse. All right, guys, if you're still confused, me and Mr. Tommy and Mr. Jante will help you out. Everyone else, try to do white belt all the way up to the belt you have now. All right, guys. One thing, summer camp's coming up. If you guys are not registered with us yet, please register for our summer camp program. Also, if you're not coming for summer camp, please pass a summer camp packet along for someone that you think might want to come to our summer camp. Summertime is very hard, and if you could help us out, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, even if you're not coming to summer camp, if you think you might be coming to the ASK program next year, Register with us, please. Come grab one of these sheets. Okay, also, since it seems pretty hard to remember all this stuff, not only are we gonna give you guys all a copy of the video of this, of this class, but we're also gonna do another seminar next month free of charge. So if you wanna come back next month, we'll do it again next month. If it's still hard to remember, we'll do it again the month after that. So it's easier for you guys to remember, so you will definitely get your money's worth for these pads. All right, guys, again, if anyone has any questions or if anyone wants to register for summer camp or after-school karate next year, please come see me. And thank you very much for coming. You guys, you know, our students are our lifeline. It's your school. Uh, Master Body Nelson always says it, and I always say it. You know, the school doesn't belong to us. It belongs to you guys, because without you guys, we can't run a school. It'd just be four walls. So thank you very much for coming. I can't say it enough. Thank Kids, thank your parents. Dismissed. Thank you. Good job, my parents.